Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome back to another Python scripting tutorial. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the redo operator and how we can add it to our add-ons. And if you're not familiar with the redo operator, pretty much every time you change something or do something within Blender, down here on the left, we'll see an operator pop up. So for example, if we move this around, we see we get this operator down here and we can change the options on the fly. Now we want to do the same thing for our own add-ons. For example, if we go to the shader library, we can then change any of the options down here. And to do this, it's really simple. So let's go ahead and take a look at how we do that. Go ahead and load up your scripting template. If you don't have one, just go through here and find the scripting workspace. And now we can go through here and arrange the layout. Just make a bit of space. So yeah, we really need an operator and a panel to get things started. So we could go to templates, go to Python and add these both in. But to save a little bit of time, I've already done that. So I'm going to go ahead and load up a template script. And as always, if you guys want to follow along, you can download this template script. There will be a link in the description to take you to a blog post. Go ahead and check that out. But all this is, is a panel and an operator. So I'm going to go ahead and run this and then go over here, press N go down to our new tab. And there we go. Now we have this button that doesn't really do anything until we tell it to. Right now we have this blank operator. Now let's make it do something. So I'm going to delete this cube. We'll say when the button is pressed, we'll add a cube. So now when we run the script, press this button, it will add a cube. And that's not very impressive. So let's get rid of that. Uh, we wanted to find the location. So inside here, I'm going to type location equals open and close parentheses. Then in here, let's say one comma one comma one. So now when we hit run script, click this button, it will add a cube, but it's moved it over by one. Uh, again, not very impressive. So, so let's go ahead and add the redo operator. Now, as I said, it's really simple. We just need to go to this BL information and then type BL underscore options, then equals, then open and close brace, which are these two squiggly bracket type dealios, then apostrophe twice. Then within here and in capitals, we're going to type register. Then after the apostrophe, I'm going to hit comma, add two more apostrophes. And then inside here, again, in capitals, I'm going to type undo. And now let's create a property for the user to change the location. I'm going to call this location. Then add a colon and then type bpy.props.float with a capital F, vector with a capital V, property with a capital P then open and close parentheses and we could leave it like that and then down here for the location we could just get rid of this now and say self dot location and now if we hit run script click the button we can see it adds the cube we can then also change the location on the fly and there we go now we have our redo operator uh, we could make this look a lot better by making this a pop-up dialog box operator and I have done a video on that. So if you want to check it out, there will be a link over here. So now we'll run the script, click the button and we have this pop-up dialog box and we could make this look better. And again, I did a video on that. If you want to check it out, there will be a link over here. So yeah, there we go. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.